Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So guys, I am here to do um, a random collective love reading. This reading is for the collective. It's not going to be for all of you, okay? So please just take what does resonate and leave what doesn't. And uh, thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. You guys have been wonderful to me. Thank you so much for everything that you do that helps this channel grow, man. I really do appreciate all of, all of your support, really. All right, guys. I figured we'd start with a couple oracles here and check the energy, right? I'm digging this deck, so bottom of the deck. You're protecting your treasure, yes, right? I feel like you've worked for this treasure. I feel like it's your blessing. I feel like this is um, your livelihood, whatever this is for you. I feel like it's your abundance, your financial abundance. Um, yeah, so, you know, maybe take some extra precautions when it comes to protecting that, you know. Um, you know, maybe change your passwords up or something like that to protect your stuff, right? check your accounts you know i think you're you're already doing all of this i feel like you're just guarding okay you're guarding um your treasure you're guarding your abundance you're guarding your new future whatever this is for you right from any unexpected visitors that may show up because you know that there's people out there that just want you for your abundance um i feel like for these people it's not just a dry desert, like they really don't have anything. These, pe these are people who are really financially burdened here. Um, I feel like, too, it, what, you know, if you were financially burdened in the past, you're not anymore. You're opening your arms for all the blessings and your financial situation is transforming. I feel like this is like financial stuff, right? Um, your money, your abundance, whatever big project it is that you've been growing, whatever it is, your treasure, right? Whatever your treasure is for you, you're protecting it from anybody. You know people are going to come and try to take it. That's just it. You already know people are going to come and try to take it because you already know the people out there that don't have anything. And they're, I feel like, watching your stuff watching you receive your blessings you know i feel like you're also about to take a leap of faith here and just start all over again start new and with whatever treasure this is you'll be able to do that i feel like your future is kind of wide open here you know or maybe that's the security on your stuff maybe you need to add some more security on your on your stuff and protect it better or whatever Okay, but I feel like you're open to receive your blessings here. You're open to beautiful things, okay? I see really nothing but a great new beginning for you, to be honest with you. Um, and I just see you protecting it, okay, from people whose well has run dry, right? Yeah, and I feel like you're ex maybe expecting these unexpected visitors, like... Um, and if anybody comes to your place, it's, you know, Cancer had this in their reading earlier, too. Um, hold on a second. Moonlight. I feel like, um, well, you could be a Pisces or a Cancer. But I, I, I feel like... Um, you're hiding something or someone is hiding something from you. You could be protecting and hiding this treasure, you know, from anybody who comes around. Yeah, spirit of place. You're protecting your own domain is kind of what I'm feeling like. You're protecting your home, you're protecting your, your finances, you're protecting your job, you're protecting your energy, you're protecting the peace around you, um, wherever you are. I think from anything that's hidden, I you know, there there's a degree of paranoia here just a little bit, 
but just a little bit because I feel like what you're protecting here is really important. But you know, um, yeah, you're 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 just keeping everything hidden, which is probably good. I feel like you sense people are going to come around and try to take something from you. That's what I'm feeling like. You sense it. So you're expecting the unexpected is what I'm talking about here. Yeah, and you're you're standing up for you're like protecting everything that you're that you've got here because it's like you're holding the world in the palm of your hand. This again to me is like the fool card, a leap of faith, right? With your blessings in hand here. Like you're making a new journey maybe. Maybe um, maybe you're worried about your safety and security if you're like making a big home move or um, you could be even taking a vacation worried about travel. I see you being fine actually if that's the case. I do. I see you having a really good time on, on your trip. Wherever you're going, it's going to be bright. Okay? Wherever you're going, it's going to be bright. And I think you're, you are really just keeping a lot of your stuff hidden. Because you know what? It's nobody's business and that's a form of protection. Right? Keep your moves hidden. Keep your information hidden. That's a form of protection. Yeah. And I think you're just kind of staying safe um, in your space, you know, right now. But working on something really big, maybe. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say, shall we? Okay. Yeah, I feel like people are going to, you know what? Yeah, you are going to defend yourself and everything that you've got. I feel like there could be multiple people even coming to try to take your stuff. Like, what is this? Yeah, you're sitting on like a tr huge treasure box here, okay? Gold, right? Gold, jewels, that kind of thing. Make sure you don't leave anything like um, really expensive items of jewelry or anything like that laying out. Make sure you put that in a safe or something like that, you know? Because I see that jewel laying there. And it, it, it seriously beckons me to look at it, right? So I feel like everybody can see this. And you may not even be aware of it, but everyone can see this treasure of yours. And you're worried, though, that you, it's like you expect these people to show up unexpectedly. Okay, if that makes sense. You expect these people to show up unexpectedly and try to take something from you. Okay, try to take something from you. Yeah. What else can you show me here for the person watching? Yeah, your happiness. Look, your happiness, your happy ending, your happy life. This journey here you're about to embark on a brand new life a brand new way of living and it's going to be really bright right here ten of cups with the sun that's the happiest these are the these are like the best two cards in the deck really <laughs> and that's what you're trying to protect here okay with everything that you've got because you know that other pe it's other people's wish fulfillment too. And I feel like these people are wishing for the same thing that you've got. And they want to come in and try to take it. That's why you're trying to watch over it so close. Okay. Because you know these people would stab you in the back. Yeah. And you've already had to heal from these people before. You could be um, in the public eye somehow doing something like very healing for other people. And maybe a guide. You could be wish fulfillment. All of this is wish fulfillment. You are wish fulfillment. And I think these there's people out here, multiple people. There's at least, I'm thinking five. 
maybe five people that wanna that you know of that may want to come in and deceive you and take what you've got so you're being really protected you're you're like expecting these people to show up unexpectedly right right that's what i'm feeling you know i feel like um hmm clarify the king of wands and the queen of cups these could be the people that that have broke your heart here there's a king of wands and a queen of cups here that have literally just shattered you um maybe this king of wands put you in a third party even you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign i feel like they they broke your heart betrayed you you've been betrayed and i feel like you're a very healing kind of person you know you've got that beautiful shining energy about you um yeah i feel like this was a third party there could be someone specific two people in specific you know specifically that may try to come back to to you know take part in what you've got it's it's ridiculous that it has to be this way you know it really is Clarify the Ace of Wands. This could be somebody who maybe used you before. Or they may be wanting to... Yeah, this is somebody who is like a schmoozer. A schmoozer and a user. Right? Tell me more about this situation here. There could have been two people. I, I'm getting a, a masculine energy and a feminine energy. Okay, one could have been a friend, one could have been an ex. They're missing their opportunity and they're butthurt over it. They're missing their opportunity with you and they're upset over it. But these are people that, look, they betrayed you, they used you. Yeah, and now they're upset. You know, this could be gossip. These people have gossiped about you. And you've stood in your strength and have been quiet this whole time. These people are schmucks, man. Yeah. You're standing in your strength here. You're standing strong in your boundaries. You don't want these people around you. I feel like they've been gossiping. They've been stabbing you in the back. Someone here used you. Maybe this, this king of wands, this schmoozer, this user energy. Okay, that's kind of what I'm feeling like here. And now they're upset. Because you're doing well. Really well. And you're, you're doing it all on your own here. And you've got a, a beautiful future coming that's going to be happy. And they're upset. Wow. It's the world we're in, right? Hoping We're hoping it's changing. The twin flames are supposed to help change that, right? Yeah, they're looking at your money. I feel like this, these people are studying your treasure. And you can feel that. You're expecting them to come. Mm-hmm. You just don't know when. Yeah, they're coming. They're gonna they're gonna say, Oh, but I've got this for you. Hmm. Yeah, they're gonna try to make it see up maybe appear like they're doing something for you. No. They're trying to get in and then and then you know what? They're gonna they're they're probably gonna try to get to your uh treasure and then they're going to walk away again okay this could be an x you've got your boundaries right you haven't said anything not yet not yet but you're being protective yeah these people they're i feel like they're coming up with ideas that's what i'm 
you may not you know this may be this because this offer here is slow coming I feel like they're this they're hanging around think of thinking of ideas as to how to get in here and take what you've got honestly I think you're right I think you're right I think they do want to take what you've got you know I think you're right keep watching that door <laughs> right All right. Yeah, I think they're brainstorming is what I'm feeling like. They're brainstorming right now how to approach you. Because you are, you are standing in your strength right now. They know you are, whoever this is. I feel like it's, it's a couple different people. I'm feeling a feminine energy and a masculine energy. So it could be an ex and a friend, it could be family members, co-workers, you know, it, it's going to be whatever it resonates with you, right? But, yeah, these people want to stab you in the back. They want to stab you in the back and bring you down. Yeah, tower. Yep, yeah, tower card. Bringing you down. That's what they want to do. There's gossip. There's talk about this, I feel. They're brainstorming. Could be, um, it could be a masculine. Okay, so it could be a fire sign and a, and a water sign scheming, maybe. I, I kind of feel there's separate energy and there's just a lot of gossip around you. And there is at least one person who is plotting, planning, watching your stuff, wanting to bring you down for sure. I feel like you have divine protection, though. The divine is out here. You could also be dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah, but I feel like the divine is out here kind of protecting you, watching over you. Yeah, you're the Queen of Pentacles energy right now. This is why. Right? That treasure of yours... It's put you in the Queen of Pentacles energy. You're the most financially stable queen in the deck right now. You're not just stable. You're abundant. Um, and you have a lot to protect. And I kind of feel like it's just you. Just you in this throne here. Just you trying to protect all that you've gotten. And people are coming. I feel like you can sense that coming to try to take it from you okay but you are divine protected this is what the divine wants for you and i feel like they're gonna stand in between you and whoever is doing this yeah they're coming to talk to you here they come right unexpected visitor here they are yep they're approaching you to talk they're reaching out so yeah You've got, you, you are expecting the unexpected. Yes, you are. You're expecting the unexpected. These are coming from people that may have worked really hard in the past, but they can't reap any kind of benefit. All they have is this one pentacle, which stands for a new beginning, but that's all they've got. You're sitting pretty in the queen of pentacles seat. Okay. Yeah. These are people who may need money. Mm -hmm. And that's why you're protecting whatever you've got. Okay, give me just a couple more for the person watching. Show me what messages you have for the, whoever needs to see this. And this, again, this isn't going to resonate with all of you, but if you were led to this video, man... Um, it really is true. If you're led to a, a video or a reading, there's probably something in it for you. Now we've got an emperor and an empress coming out together. you got to be kidding me. You've got an emperor on the way. Now, if you guys, if this person has good intentions for you and they approach you correctly, right, and you guys can work out your issues, you could be a power couple. And take this abundant treasure sky high. Yep. Building empires. 
I just don't know that this person, um, it could be this person here. You could have like three people. I'm telling you, you could have up to five people. Up to five, I feel, that want to approach you. Okay? I feel like most of these people are not happy either. Um, but we've got an emperor and an empress on the board. Somebody is trapped in there. This could be somebody who kept you trapped in your mind. I feel like they want to they want to get you trapped in your mind and and take your and get your treasure. I still have to say that they're getting ready to communicate with you praying that this goes well. Praying that it goes well. I mean emperor or no emperor still, man. It, the intentions have to be spot on they've got to be they can't be tainted at all not with an empress or a queen of pentacles the queen neither one of them are going to put up with any crap all right but someone's coming in they want to apologize but here's the thing this person is only bringing a fish and they're going to be feeling like a fool, okay? So they're offering you a foolish fish in a cup, okay? They're offering you a foolish fish. Yeah, they're still attached to devil energy. This fool is still attached to devil energy. They're, in, they're still in a toxic... Okay, so I feel like you've got three people out here on the board right now. One is an ex coming in to try to apologize. But they've got nothing to offer you because they're still attached in devil energy. And I, I feel in a way that they may try to even hide that. Everybody's after your abundance right now. At least possibly five people. I think you know this too, person watching. I think you know this. You may even be trying to move, make a house move. You may be being guided in that in that direction away from everybody you've known from the past. For real. That's kind of what the feeling that I'm getting here cuz you just know. You're using your intuition on anybody who comes anywhere near you and you're spot on. Listen to your intuition, you know. Yeah, I think you've learned the lessons from these people and what, what they'll do to you, you know. You don't trust them. I feel like you don't trust these people. I think you gave them your love in the past and they turned their back on you and betrayed you in more ways than one. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like these people hid their true selves from you underneath this big old cloak, okay? They hid it all and only shine the light on the things that they wanted you to see about them. Yep, but you're on to them now. Your intuition and the, look, these two are connected. The high priestess is the secret keeper for the, for the higher font. These, these two are divine. You're very connected to the divine. And the, and the higher font, right, the divine will give you messages and you retain them. You never said anything to these people. You were, you were totally quiet when you exited their life, you know, when you walked away from them. I feel like you are in the process of that right now. You could be moving away. But I think you got the messages about these people already. It's like they're, they're, they're trying to hide who they really are and what they really are and only let you see what they want you to see, but you're way, too, you're way too above that. You're too strong for that. You can see things that they don't think you can see with your intuition, with your third eye, with the messages that you're getting. So you're, you're following your intuition. Follow it. 
you know, because I think the divine is um, trying to protect you from these from these people that just want your treasure. Yeah. Anyway, listen, that's what I got for this reading here. Um, I hope this helps. I really do. And um, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet already. And until next time, person watching, take care of you and peace out.